All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another instalment of our campaign on Jurassic World Evolution 2, my friends. Um, last episode is linked above in case you've missed it. It was a relatively short episode and at the time I was pretty disappointed, weren't I? But um, it was still a lot of fun nonetheless. I believe today we're going to be jumping in and playing the very last campaign mission. Um, so yeah, this is going to be cool. We're going to see how it all gets wrapped up and then I guess... From then on out, we're going to be doing some more cool stuff with JWE2 at some point. I'm thinking about playing through Chaos Theory next. Um, a few people on Discord have been saying to me that it's a lot of fun, but it's really difficult. I found the campaign relatively easy, but I feel like the campaign's been a bit of a tutorial, basically. A bit of a, a look at what the game's got to offer. That's kind of what I feel like they've done with the campaign this time around. So I'm looking forward to jumping into something else. But without further ado, let's complete the campaign and let's see what the last mission is as in store. Yosemite, over 1,000 square miles in size. It is home to one of the oldest plant species on Earth, the giant sequoias, which have been growing in this part of California for over 60 million years. That could be our connection. What's drawing the dinosaurs here? The sequoias are familiar, part of their genetic memory then this land could be a perfect fit for the dinosaurs. So, here we go. Let's see what we've got in store this time around, shall we? <laughs> okay, the horse is already out of the barn. That's a saying, by the way. There's no horse and no barn. <laughs> what Owen means is that things are already in motion. We have dinosaurs that we'll need to capture and facilities that need to be built. Uh, but not actual barns barns no expedition center a paleo medical facility and a response facility yes <laughs> the host should give us a solid foundation okay so we know what we need to be building but first and foremost i'm just going to take a quick look at the map and see what we're playing with so that i can kind of figure out where to build um the facility and stuff i feel like maybe a central point like where we were like where we've started might be quite nice so uh so let's do that, let's crack on with that. So first things first, although it's not there, we do actually need an arrival point. So we need to be building building that as well. Um, so this is the arrival point, so let's get that one in first, I think. I'm actually gonna put the arrival point at a bit of an angle next to this sort of mounting-y type area. So we'll put that there. Um, let's drag our path out to about here and then we pull out a path that way we'll build our other bits off of that path so we need a paleo medical facility um and let's put that in in there like so um then we need an expedition center this one here so let's rotate that round and we will put that that there. Um, we need a response facility. Um, that one there. So we will do the same thing. Um, I'm actually going to do it so that it sits in this little gap, actually. Oh, pretty decent. And then we can put our power unit, if it will go in there. Yeah, we'll put our power unit in there. And that'll look, that'll look nice, won't it? I'll just drag that across like so and then we will join that up there and then yeah let's get all of this built lovely old job lovely lovely old job oh i haven't joined those two bits up have i no there we go let's just join that one up and join that one up job done With photography uh in what aspect i think my right side is a little better than my left oh and i'm talking about the dinosaurs we're gonna want images of the species in yosemite oh and you're wrong about the right okay i get it now we can take one of the vehicles and go on a photo expedition and yeah i know my left is better you're still here i'm leaving but i haven't left you get it i'm doing a play out go uh Gone, gone, I'm gone. Okay, so it looks as though we are going to have to drive around <laughs> in the vehicle. And uh, 
yeah, I'm not the best at this, as we all know. But um, obviously, we've got all these photo points to get to. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Right, F is to take photo. I just need to remember that. But yeah, I'm not the greatest at driving, gang, as you all know and as you've all seen. So yeah, let's just head on out to find our first dinosaurs. Uh, but yeah, this is a very, very different already, this mission, compared to the last couple that we've done, isn't it? So yeah, that's quite fun. Um, here we go. Looks like there's uh, a few dinos up ahead. As I can see, the little icon flashing about. There we go, lovely job. Now I'm sure they don't need to be uh, the greatest photos. Um, yep, that's one. That's one done. All right, let's see what else we can go and find. Let this walk a bit closer to us. Lovely job. And all this is uh, making us a bit of money as well, which is nice. Don't want to get too close because I know the dinosaurs do actually react to the uh, to the vehicles, don't they? It's going to be a good photo. The mountain range in the backward, uh, in the background. There we go. Loads of money for that one. I am wondering if uh, Jurassic uh, World Dominion is going to be a bit like this, with the dinosaurs all uh, in the wild and stuff. Now, obviously, with um, how the last movie finished and stuff, it would make sense to maybe go down that route, I guess. That's, of course, if you've seen the last movie. If not, then I probably should have said spoiler alert, because I've spoiled it for you. Um, there we go. There's a little icon over there. But we got four of eight, so still quite a few to go. But we are... We are slowly getting there. Ah, oh, there you are. Wow, there's a tiny little guy running around there. <laughs> we managed to see it. Um, it says there's uh, stuff like straight ahead, so we might as well go this way. See what we can find down this canyon. We don't want to get too close to this guy. If we can help it, it might be time to drive away. <laughs> oh, they're all going to go into the bush. There we go. Lovely job. Lovely job. A loads of galamai. Uh, so we've got one more. The catalog um, looks as though it's straight this way. Hopefully, yeah, picking up some speed now. Absolutely flying. There we go. Boom. And job is a good one. capture teams bringing back the most dangerous dinosaurs the safety of the public and the dinosaurs are both at stake I'm your man and uh, and I'm your man I know once we have them we'll get them secured within our new facility and I know so be careful Okay, so we've got to increase the asset rating by capturing dangerous carnivores. Um, and then obviously I would imagine we're going to have to build enclosures to keep them in and, and stuff like that. Like we've done so in previous um, in previous episodes of this uh, uh, campaign mode. Uh, so we've got to check the expedition map, um, which is here, I do believe, isn't it? Uh, view expedition map. And uh, yeah, we're basically looking for... Um, 
all of the carnivores essentially so yeah that's what we're going to be concentrating on so we need one research and six uh of the I, I don't actually know what this one is is it going to tell me no of course it's not um okay anyway so we'll get you oh we literally need one more we'll get you to help out and uh, we'll start that task we can only do one at a time so we'll um we'll let that get cracking and then we will build um We'll build some fencing and some stuff while we're uh, while we're waiting. So we obviously want it to be in here, inside where the power and whatnot is. So uh, yeah, I'm going to build it probably a similar size to what I have been the, the little three by threes um, because they seem to be doing the job all right. So three by three, and oh, I've gone really really wonky, haven't I? There. Doesn't matter. We'll just join it up there, like so, and uh, and then we'll get the we'll get the gate on. We'll get it on there. And do you know what? I'm going to get the feeder in because I'm going to assume they're going to want these feeders. So yeah, we'll just get that feeder in there, like so. So that's done. Um, so yeah, let's just get this moving so that this uh, first expedition gets done. Right, there we go. One Albertosaurus captured. Um, we will transport that dinosaur and we'll put it in here. Um, probably going to need to sort a few bits out in here uh, for this guy. And what I'm going to do is just pause it a second. Um, we'll get another expedition going while we wait. Uh, to Allosaurus. Okay. So we need just need six, so we'll use you and you. We're pr actually probably going to need a staff center so that we can get their um, their energy levels back. Um, so actually, I might add that now just to kind of get ahead of the curve more than anything. Um, Let's rotate this around. Okay, it's not going to go in there. We'll just stick it over here then. Boom. And, uh, you know what? I've really realised that I'm just, I'm not taking much care in the way things look in this campaign mission, which is shoddy on my part um, I'm also going to get a research uh, facility in because I know that will get our rating up based on um, what I've experienced in other episodes so right let's get this play in let's get those things building get this guy in and then uh, we'll get you to check on this dinosaur in a moment so now we can see what its wants and needs are. Water's going to be one. I'm going to put a little little bit of water in there because I know that will be one. So we might as well get that done. Um, we'll just get it over the back there like so. Okay, it's actually going to need some treatment by the looks of things. So we're going to need to get the uh, MVU. Um, your add a task. We'll get you to go and check on this guy. But while we're waiting on that, we can click on here and just see what its needs are. So sand and rock are the two by the looks of things. Why is it making that telephone noise? Oh, that's really annoying. When you click on the animal and it, I could really hear it that time. I've not had that before. So let's just get some, some uh, sand in. Dirt, sand, there we go. Probably should have stayed on the animal. Click on you. The yeah, sand, and then it was rock area. Right, yeah, just get some rocks in. Um, Dooby doo. Put them over here near the water. I kind of like how the rocks look 
near the water. It looks very natural. I'm looking forward to actually doing a, a sandbox at some point and really trying to like see how far you can kind of push this game where the beautification and stuff's concerned. Um, I'd imagine it probably quite hard because you're quite limited, but you never know. The modders might end up modding the game like they did the first one. Um, again, so yeah, we'll wait and see. So let's press play. Oh, actually, do you know what we do need to do is get a, a another uh, another hab built first. Um, let's let's just build it next to this one, but we'll put that gap between it like we did before. Oh well, is what it is. Is what it is, gang. Um, and then what I might do is delete that out, and then we'll put a few bits down here. Right, let's um, press play. So that, that can be getting built. Why? This is getting done. That's getting done. We are moving along nicely. Right, let's just get this done. Uh, injury. Right, we'll just get you and you to do that task. Where have those two gone? Did I reject it? And then does that mean that because I've rejected it, it disappears? Because that's going to be very annoying if that is the case. Um, because I was just wasn't ready, basically. Maybe I needed to wait a couple of minutes, but yeah, it is what it is. Um, we'll just have to get other other stuff. We'll have to go and do another expedition, I guess. But why, what we're going to do is, while this guy's being healed up, I'm going to... Um, facility not built? What are you on about? The facility is built. It's right there. Oh, okay. I've got to build a control centre for that to work. Okay. Um, well, let's do that then. That's very annoying. Very, very annoying. You'd think I hadn't played the rest of the uh, campaign the way I'm playing this. I'm like a complete noob, aren't I? Um, let's pull that down to there then. We'll get all this built and get him healed up. Or she. He or she. Alright. Let's uh, let's get our staff um, rested. So we'll rest you and rest you because you're not doing anything at the moment. So then you'll be good to go for an expedition. All right. Oh, okay. So the Allosaurus now have um, popped up. I think it might have just taken a couple of minutes to to get it done, basically. There we go. Right, I'm just going to press play a moment. Uh, pause it a minute, I should say. Uh, transport. Um, treatment complete. So, so we need to um, add a task. We need to move. Oh, okay. Maybe there's ways of doing this, clearly. <laughs> and I'm getting them all wrong at the moment. Right, I'm gonna. I am actually gonna pause this a second because um, I have got a feeling that the Allosaurus are gonna have way too much uh, forest in there. Um, so yeah, let's just clear that bit of forest around the waterhole, um, and then they. I'm gonna say they are gonna want this, but I'm. Do you know what? I'm gonna check just in case. So, we need to get our ranger and um, get him to do the right checks and stuff that he needs to do. I'll check you as well. Lovely old job. And then once we get all this sorted, then we will um, concentrate on the next expedition. so much going on that um, it hasn't really increased our rating or, or anything just yet. 
Right, so, just gonna pause, just while I concentrate on all this. So, prey seems to be the only thing that's missing, so that's not bad. But it has only searched that much of the paddock so far, so, you yeah. know, we'll have to wait and see if that ends up just being the case. But we'll put that in there, like so. And then we will also get the research point in there. Jobs are good and whoops, wrong one. Path is what I wanted. We'll get that there. And we'll drag that path all the way down to the bottom. Okay, let's get this moving. So our rating is now starting to go up because we're starting to see what our animals uh, need, don't need, and all that good stuff. Right, so they're in there. This guy's going to be in here shortly. Um, their resting is complete. Of course he's going to chase after the bloody car. Jesus. <laughs> Not the best drivers, are they? Let's be honest. Uh, let's just make sure that this guy's happy now. Yes, very happy. That's what we like to see. Um, yeah, I believe this is like a new dinosaur for us, so it'd be nice to take a look. <sighs> Pretty cool. Absolutely love it. Um, right, so we can get um, our other two staff. I'm going to rest those guys because they're going to need it. So rest you and rest you. And then uh, the other two, I'm hoping we'll have enough uh, sort of experience to to get um, the next thing done. So we need four. I believe that's, when it says that, it means we've got six available, but um, but it only takes four kind of thing. So these are all going to be carnivores, aren't they? Okay, so I'm just gonna check that. Yeah, that kind of helps because then it doesn't really matter which one we click on. So two, eight, three, Six and three. Okay, I'm gonna go with these guys just because it's only two and you can do it on yourself. Well, that's a nice job. I'm not gonna try. I'm just not gonna try. Let's join that up there and then, uh, yeah, we'll go one, two, three. One, two, and then I'm going to go here and go one, two, three-ish. There we go. Lovely job. And then we're basically going to, just going to do the same thing again. Where I'm going to put the... Uh, actually, no, I'm not. That is so wonky. What is the matter with me today? Look how wonky all these lines are. I'm, I'm not having a good time of it, am I? <laughs> right, let's... Uh, We'll have to do this one slightly differently then. We'll put the gate there and we'll put the um, we'll put the research thing on the front. We'll put it put it here like we have done the other one. We're probably going to need some power over this way. We're just going to resupply this though because that could be catastrophic should we lose the power. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, we will... Um, drag the path up and around but yeah my uh my eyes are all over the place see i know i went at an angle there because i was trying to line it up with the um i was trying to line it up with that gap but because this is all wonky but i just i don't know why i've why i've done that today very very odd from from more Right, here we go. Um, we have... Oh, we've only captured one of them. That's annoying. That's really annoying. Um, because I've got this huge enclosure now. And only one dinosaur is going to go in it. Okay. Um, oh, well, it is what it is. Let's, um, let's, get this, uh, let's get this one in. There we go. Let's get that done. Uh, let's see what this guy is like. There we go. 2,083. I reckon maybe one more have quite a lot of dinosaurs in could be the one. 
to do it. So I'm, I'm going to get the expedition started while we're waiting on that. And there was one with eight, weren't there? Yeah, I, that's the one I'm going to do. I'm going to do this one. Uh, I'm just going to send Morgan because she can get it done. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll, um, we'll have a look at that, and then uh, yeah, we'll find out what this dino needs, shall we? Um, doesn't look as though it needs much. It's going to need prey. Yeah, he really loves that goat. Yeah, he's going to need prey. But other than that, seems pretty happy in this uh, environment. So yeah, we'll bang that in. And that should probably take that up. Yes, lovely old job. So we've got one more hab that we probably need to build. There we go. And that amazing now? I virtually got that straight, but I couldn't get the others. Um, anyway, let's... Um, delete that if you're wondering why i do that why i join that up because then you don't have to put as many powerpoints in because this is all on one grid essentially so yeah it's just something that i've learned as i've been playing the game uh in case anyone was wondering and then it's a nice little place to put your gates as well because it's almost like a path for your cars so you could put all your gates along there and it makes it look smart i guess when i get around to doing a sandbox we'll we'll really concentrate on the aesthetics of the game um because I feel like when you do a campaign and whatnot, you just do the basics, don't you, to to please the animals and stuff. So, um, so yeah, I'll probably do concentrate a bit more when uh, when I do a sandbox, or even when we do Chaos Theory, maybe try and make the make the parks look a bit more um, appealing. So, um, I know you can put little what's names in ranger stations to kind of uh, to keep checking on the animals um but be with the campaign i've just kind of been doing what i'm asked to do rather than going above and beyond and doing stuff i'm not really asked to do um basically just just doing the sheer basics but here we go let's see how many they managed to capture Six of the eight, that's not bad, not bad at all. So let's transport those guys into here. There we go. Um, we'll find out what they what they need in a moment. Like, we are gonna need to put one of these on here. So you need um, prey. Looks like it's that's all you need as well, which is which is decent. Okay, so let's add that in just about there. And that should keep them pretty happy. Right, I'm gonna need to do one more expedition, I reckon. Um so we can get three of those, or we can go for three of those, or we can go for six of those. How about we just do these? Um, we'll send you to go and do it. So start that task. Ah, oh dear. And um, yeah, we'll just get it put down here. I'm assuming, yeah, the limits of the map are not going to be quite met. So that's all good in the hood. Oh, yeah. See you later, Mr. Goat. Okay, you would not want that chasing you on a dark night, would you? <laughs> uh. um, and if we call, let's hope we call all three and it gets us over the line. Yes, yes, yes. Lovely job. Let's hope it gets us over the line. Um, we're definitely going to need some water. Ah, oh, dearie me. We're going to need one more dinosaur. <sighs> Mental. Mental. And it hasn't got us over the line. Oh, yes, it has. Oh, no, it ain't. We've got, actually, we've got loads to do. It's 3,300. I kept looking at it like it was 3,000. No, we actually have loads. All right, let's get their needs sorted. Maybe if their needs go up, that might help a little. I'm not sure. But, um... But yeah, anyway, let's do a resupply. Fill up, fill up. Um, that is annoying. Uh, okay, 
Maybe we had to do all of the animals on this one. We had to get all of them sorted. Um, I'm going to send just you. Yeah, maybe we have to actually go out and capture all of them and, and get them all in and all happy uh, for this for this um, campaign mission, maybe. Who knows? Okay, they have got a medical issue. So, they've got an undiagnosed ailment, so we need to get the, um, we need to get that, uh, over here. I'll get that on all three of them, and then we need to also get a prey and some forest, so let's do that. So, first things first, let's get the prey sorted. So, we will, a lot of dead to you get you in like so and then the other thing was um some forest for these guys wasn't it so yeah let's let's get a bit of forest in now come on just get it over get that balance just need to get it a little bit more, there we go, and that should be a lot better. Right, let's fast forward. Here we go, transmission incoming. I'm um, hoping we've caught all three. Yes, we have. Lovely job. One, two, three. The stakes are as high as they've ever been, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm not mistaken. We are on the cusp of achieving a new relationship with the dinosaurs, forging revolutionary ideas because we're able to better understand the past. And boy, do we now. We're trying to put those accidents behind us. Well, if I may, um, there are no accidents, simply undiscovered reasons. Our mistake, humanity's mistake, is believing that we want to know the truth when the lie is more than enough to sustain us. These genetically manufactured dinosaurs, they're as real as we chose to make them. We've manipulated and crossbred dogs and cats and livestock for years. Why? Not for what they need, but for what we want out of the animals. And you think that's what we're doing now? You tell me. Any contact, no matter how slight and reasoned, introduces change. Is that not correct? Dr. Dua, enlighten us. For now, it's what we have to accept. Our job, my job, is to make sure these animals have the best care. As for the rest, let come what may. Yes, yes, how wonderfully uh, uh, chaotic of you. Okay, obviously there was lots of stuff going on there and I was kind of getting some work done in the background because um, it needed to be done. But yeah, we got that first part done um, with all the dinos that we've got here now, which is good. We've got a couple of like fractures to be dealing with with the animals in here, which is unfortunate and not nice to see. Um, we're going to be getting checks done on these oh, this car keeps getting stuck here though so there's lots of stuff that's going to be getting checked and whatnot so i'm just going to move this forward um all right let's see what you need and um, prey is going to be a, a big one obviously water they need more water than i've given them so that's that's fine we can we can get that done pretty quickly can't we so let's just add a bit more water um we'll add the prey feeder um let's just add that there and then they want some forest as well so let's just add add enough in and it makes them happy You're taking the open space down but uh, you know it's a fine balance a very fine balance but um they should be happy and then, yeah, the next part of the task is that we've got to keep all of our captured dinosaurs um, to 80% comfort, which is something I think we should we should be able to do. He's currently being healed, and once that one's healed, this one will be going over there to be healed as well. 
Um, so, yeah, let's just speed this up, get this done. Right, we're actually about to complete this, so I'm going to let this play out. Even on the islands, we never created something this... This... Perfect. Well, considering we can't let them run free, and the dinosaurs will never really know the life they should be living, it's as perfect as can be. I guess... We should be happy. But... are we... happy? Sorta? Okay, something's bothering you, and it's not me. No. So... What gives? This park. This isn't the dinosaur's final stop, is it? No, of course it's not. How could it be? It's too dangerous to have these animals this close to civilization. They go, we go. You mean that, Owen? You realize what you're saying? We're a team. I know you, Claire. You won't turn your back on them. Which is a bad idea, by the way. Never, never do that. And neither can I. These animals are a destiny that we can't escape. Not just you and me, everyone. That's something the Earth needs to come to terms with. Yeah, we either make this planet right, or the dinosaurs. They'll make it theirs. And so there you have it. I was honestly expecting a bit more to the last mission in the campaign i'm gonna be honest with you um but it's quite cryptic what they're saying there i kind of feel like the campaign as well because it's going to touch upon some of the stuff that's going to happen in the next movie they can't go too into it because we're not going to see the trailer for that movie until early next year apparently so um yeah it is interesting but i'm surprised very very surprised where that campaign kind of went with the last episode but um yeah i guess we're done and dusted with it, my friends but this is not the end of the jwe2 content on the channel there's going to be plenty more coming um i've already kind of mentioned in today's episode i am going to be looking to do some sandbox builds and also i am looking at doing the chaos theory as well because i've been told it's pretty difficult but it's really interesting and uh yeah i'm gonna definitely give it a go my friends but if you've enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe to the channel because like i've already said there's plenty more coming and there's lots of other stuff for you to go and check out as well my friends drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it as well the more likes i get the more chance i've got of more people seeing my little pocket of the internet and uh it's just nice to know what stuff you are liking and you're not liking my friends but anyway i am done and dusted stay safe stay humble i'll see you all real real soon yeah, yosemite huh. from the language of the miwok tribe it means the valley of the killers fitting isn't it the strong prey on the weak the hunter and the hunted constantly optimizing their size, their appearance, their strength, their vision, their speed. The mind becoming ever better at that one task necessary for survival. Huh. Evolution is a never ending arms race that continues to this day. That's life, it embraces change. And now dinosaurs have returned to the Valley of the Killers. The question isn't, do they belong in Yosemite? They most certainly do. No, no, the question is, will they stay?